Hello, good afternoon, and welcome once again to your wealth class on Lagos Television. I'm Abayomi Obabolujo. What we're going to be looking at on this platform today is very critical, particularly to those who own at least one unit of investment in any bank. And there are quite a number of them that are listed on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. As a matter of fact, I believe that there is no investor in this market that does not own at least one unit or 10 or 100 or more in at least one or two uh, bank stocks. And so we are going to be looking at that. Why did I say so? Last week, the equity that gained the maximum on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange is a uh, bank. But looking at the result of that organization, you should not even touch it at all. But why is the price of such equity still rising on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange? If I'm not mistaken, they are even qualified to be hammered, to be asked by the central bank. I am not the one saying it, but the figures we are going to be showing you. And so what we're going to be doing on this platform today is to take a look at the performances as at the third quarter of the financial uh, stocks listed on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange. It is only FCMB that is yet to release its uh, third quarter results to the market because the organization did say they will be coming to the market with an audited third quarter report. I'm a statistician by training, and so the sample size is big enough. If out of probably 14 or more um, equities, we have only one that will not be included in our rankings and, and analysis. Of course, we can make do with what we have because the sample size is big enough. You will agree with me that we have seen the best of the market and uh, that was early in the year, January, February. And uh, so far, the market largely has been down. So as we speak, we have roughly six weeks plus or minus, and um, the year will be over. Our interest today will be on those financial institutions, the results they released to the market for the third quarter. But let me start this way, by looking first at those equities that led the market last week, in particularly in percentage gains. And so, you will see Unity Bank PLC starting the week, uh, last week Monday, at a price of 71 Kobo. It closed at 93 Kobo, thereby making a growth week on week of 30.99%. Year to date, it has uh, returned 75.50%. But I'm still coming to look at that. What was the factor behind the rise of the price of Unity Bank PRC last week? Now, they, they, they came earlier in the year that me lost as uh, institutional investor, so to speak, uh, was interested in picking up majority shares in them. After a while, they also came to say no. It was not going to happen again, but sometimes last week or so, there was the report that another institutional investor had picked interest in them. Now, this institutional investor, they have not told anybody, they have not reported to the market. So as far as the Oracle is concerned, this institutional investor is faceless, right? But because of that, People not considering some other critical factors that should make you invest or not, right, in stocks without taking adequate look at such critical factors, went ahead and invested in it. Well, when you see such price performance on the floor of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, please, I beg of you, you should endeavor to look away from such. Why? If you get to hook, get hooked. In such equity, it becomes extremely difficult for you to bail out. We go to the next slide now, which is looking at the shareholders fund. Now, I talked about Unity Bank 
gaining 75.5% a whole year. That was an abnormal performance. And last week alone, gaining 30.99%. Look, that was an abnormal performance. It is not a demarketing. But you see, being on television once a week, and I'm on radio Monday through Friday, and Stocks Watch Weekly newspaper is out there saying this, if you still fail in equity investment, if you die, I don't think God himself will not blame you. Why? The information you need, the guide you need, ah, they are all here, either on radio, either, so there's no excuse. If you cannot see, then you can hear. If you cannot hear, you should see. So there is no one that has not uh, that has not got a means through which communication could be made, and that's why we do all. If you are young, we are online. And